So, hello and welcome everyone again to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developers. My name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of Mind Colonies. And I believe one of the other main developers, Sam Adams, is going to chain me in relatively soon. And hi, nice to see you guys. How are you? Super Minix. Impression and Mizun and Aris. You guys are quick. Today, then. Can I hire? Oh, we got a bunch of citizens. We can employ in our library and places. Hi, Irish chef. How are you? Um. So I actually did my homework and I checked on the option to allow streaming in lower quality and that seems to be something that I do not have any power about. That seems to be something Twitch um, only allows partners and then after partners if they have like further capacities in their servers then they will allow that as well. Like if I got a lot of viewers at the moment, they might turn it on. But in general, as a non-partner, I can't actually control that. No, only partners. Yeah. It's like affiliates, if they're lucky... Oh wow, what? We just crashed. I guess. Forge did not fix their bug yet. <laughs> Tried another bug report today to Forge. They did not listen. And what a bummer, we got another crash here. Um. There's a forge bug that doesn't load Minecraft accordingly and kind of doesn't load a few classes and then when you try to access those classes it will crash. Um, at the moment we have basically only um, the build server and a Patreon Tech Colony server, but I've announced in a bunch of videos already that we are currently working on setting up a bunch of other servers. Uh, not a bunch, but another Mind Colonies 115 server for the Patreons that is going to be more vanilla like. Yeah, that's still the Tech Colonies, but we are planning on setting up another one. We are, uh, I think an estimate is more or less two weeks from now. We're currently setting up the pack and getting the stuff and testing out some mods and see how they work together before we actually get the part pack running. Okay, let me log in quickly. Fill in my login details. Google already knows enough about me. Doesn't have to know. Oh nice, I was in this. Yeah, the plan is more or less is two weeks. So we are coming online finally after the crash. So much fun. Um, I was able to fix some more things today, so I've mostly very small bug fixes, like there was a display issue in the clipboard that was fixed, and there was another small bug um, with the baker, where the baker was stealing um, buckets of milks that I also fixed. And Baker's kind of got a little bit stuck as well. Um, so that I also fixed. 
Uh, meanwhile, we still got the university going on there. Yes, exactly that one about the pickup icon. That one I fixed. Oh, that one is working on the tavern. Where is this? 100 west and 40 south. Where's that? East, west, south. Okay, now I'm interested to see whether it is. South, west. So that must be somewhere around here. could imagine here because it's a little bit of space but it's not where did some Adams place that tavern that's something I'm wondering about did he place it outside of the walls actually no although someone l did leave those open again ouch and the doors are open. Oh, that's just perfect. No, there are no doors. That's even worse. Okay, I need to craft some doors here. Because that is just plain dangerous. Alright, I'm going to go to sleep here in the citizen hut quickly. There we go. Yeah, but I, the problem is that iron doors, our citizens can't go through either. So that would not be exactly what I want either. Um, There, we got a crafting table in that one for sure. Oh, no, nah, that I didn't want to do. Here we go. Um, There. Do we have... Yes, we do have someone assigned here. Um, here. One door. Two... No. I still really didn't get how these... The door placement <laughs> works. <laughs> that worked. Great. Okay. Um, I also did a little bit of testing. So you saw when you when I logged in that um, raiders got defeated, but actually I was triggering manually a raid to see if the towers are pasted in correctly. Um, talking about that, actually that was loot of the pirate ship. So I'm going to let that despawn down here. Um, because we're getting some reports about pirate ships not spawning and de neither despawning correctly, which is super weird. So as now, we're going to test on our server here, if that happens as well. So if there's maybe like some weird server side issue, but it worked very well. I had three ships spawn and despawn without any problem. So I think some other mod is doing something bad you're getting something delivered 64 perfect oh an operator citizen yeah we've talked about something similar in the last video yesterday like allowing guards to use um allowing guards to use multi pistons or something like this but yeah that's something we might do in the future but not with any immediate importance let's call it like that I uh, he I really some addons you're placing the tavern over our lake, poor lake, that was a very nice decoration I made with all my love and you're destroying it again like every like every time 
Like with those barracks. Like, I'm by the way on Discord voice. Like the water. You see? This capitalist destroying the environment doesn't care for natural lakes and inhabitants for insects and frogs. <laughs> I zonos. Yeah, it seems to be working because that used to be a relatively big lake. And it's not anymore. <laughs> you see? He's blazing in water. There. Bye, lake. I'll miss you too. That was such a nice lake. At least my little lake over there is still there. But it's going to mess up my entire river here. So I'm going to have... The river will come anywhere, please. That river is just going to spawn randomly here. Oh god damn it. <laughs> no, it's gone. <laughs> Dry river. You're so evil. <laughs> I'm just going to... I just he have to... Be called not some addons, he should be called evil addons. Yeah, it's not some. It's it's really one specific addons. And that's, those are the evil addons. <laughs> so I'm going to get the shovel and I'm going to make another hole in underground to see water under the bridge. So evil. There, there we go. I mean, you can place buildings in the underground water-filled ravine, which I found. Oh, that, that, awesome. that is so sick to navigate in. Who had this idea? You can't walk in that ravine. What is this useful for? For who? Swimming underground in the dark? Yes, and there are like these lava blocks on the ground which sucks you down which is quite funny and okay. also shitloads of mobs okay i'm i'm confused where is the other side of the river okay i have to go in this direction here so I'm... do we need the ocean <laughs> <laughs> do we need the ocean <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing now the full Japanese? Uh, we don't have enough sp uh, space. Let's build. The ocean. Let's just conquer the ocean. Like they're doing in. Was it Tokyo? I'm not sure. But I know they're when like they, they cementing build. parts of. Uh, big parts. Uh, uh, not big parts, but some parts of the ocean to fill the ocean with concrete in Japan. Yeah, and in Hong Kong they do it also. Uh, but China's a big country, they don't have to do that. Ah, uh, Hong China. Kong. Hong Kong, Hong Kong, not China. It's literally, uh, nowadays it's China too. <laughs> yes, sadly. Sadly. But most of my friends have the, uh, have the special passport which actually allows them to stay in uh, in uh, England so that's quite good I mean many of uh, many companies are relocating now and people going bananas down there I can imagine uh, in Dubai they also do that yeah that's that's true the problem is that those people who kind of can't afford that like the poor population they're kind of like as always, poor people are always fucked. But I'm going to take care because I know that and Chef Bezos got a lot of China business. <laughs> They're not going to demonetize me on Twitch. Okay. So, there's the water entry. Um okay by the way how is the situation with um iron ingots in the colony at the moment 
always yeah. bad. Always bad. <laughs> always. Do we have a sifter running? No. Oh. Is the sifter good for iron? Yeah, they can sift the iron. Really? Huh. I mean, you can put, you can get, uh, show them cobble, and they, uh, uh, you then you grind it down to 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 gravel and sand and dust, and they get a lot of materials out of out of it. I'm using it frequently. No, but you're using a normal sifter, not the mine colony sifter, right? The mine colony sifter. Gets you iron, a lot of iron. I didn't know that. It's it's getting you some, but not a, not enough. <laughs> I mean, there's no limit in some. doing sifters. Yeah. And I have a big hole in the ground, so we could make some, um, let's say, uh, sifter department where we have 16 or 25 offices. Hi, Captain Salt, how are you? I'm trying to rescue my underground river, some add-ons destroyed maliciously. <laughs> and just build a tower. Just, just to, just for beer. Echa needs to make place for progress. This is... <laughs> what are you? Uh... Samaritans is a monster. I never forgive you. Okay. Getting water uh, is not so easy. Here. Okay. Uh, we're slowly progressing. <laughs> ah, that was the wrong place. <laughs> now I'm feeling kind of claustrophobic. <laughs> Ah, that was the wrong place. I can't see. Okay. Some items is blazing. Unnecessary things over my very ne necessary reservoir to get a decent insect population <laughs> in our colony. Save the bees, you monster. I'm going to state a sit-in with these citizens. That's actually easier said than done. Just gotta kill one and all are going to make a sit-in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, we actually talked about this a few episodes back as well that we could um, add things like um, pollution and these kinds of things and having colonies be influenced by the pollution you're causing. Those are actually fairly neat ideas as well. Having to have a somewhat stable ecosystem for your colony. Ah, no, that's the wrong place. Here. Here I want to place it. Yeah, we d we do have a lot of very interesting conversations, I have to say. Um, about different things we can... Like, mine colonies can... We probably say that, like, once every two episodes, but theoretically we could be developing here for years. Samantha, can you go sleep? Please. Oh, I... I left Discord again. What is happening with my computer sometimes when I'm streaming? Yeah, I do read chest. Hello. Ah, I read the stream chat. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Yeah, we we could actually we couldn't completely make our own game out of this, but 
then we will never be ready with this. We could we could make it in unity. <laughs> Still would never be ready with it. It would be oh, it would be like an infinite rabbit hole. Then we need more rabbits to fill that. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Bonuses for uh, um, village sizes? What do you mean with bonuses for village sizes in that case? What, if, what kind of bonuses are you talking about? Maybe a better question. Like when you reach 100 citizens you get 3 pirate ships as reward? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hi, Margo, how are you? I'm repairing our natural insect habitat. Some Adams is maliciously destroying the evil capitalist. Yeah, that's true, Geek. Uh, what do pirates and uh, barbarians do when they encounter lava? Burn. They don't walk into. And on okay. hard mode, they actually don't burn. Okay. Well, they do burn, but take no damage. Okay, because uh, <laughs> my friend thought it is a good idea to encapsulate the colony with lava. Yeah, in normal mode, that actually helps quite a bit. If your own guards don't walk into it. Yeah, the, the problem is always it's always a trade-off. Um, especially lava modes, your own guards are going to burn a lot as well. <laughs> we made sure that they cannot burn. <laughs> you know, iron doors with a push button are quite cool and useful. Okay. <laughs> it's a dwarven colony. They never see daylight. Yeah, but in a dwarven colony, it's like almost impossible anyway for your citizens. For any raider, like underground colony, which raider? We need raiders for underground colonies, th talking about that. Uh, uh, the normal barbarians, they are quite they are quite efficient in getting into the colony. They are quite efficient, because you don't find them easily. And I'm not in the, uh, at the I didn't research the uh, uh, marking the, uh, the enemies yet. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, normally, underground colonies, we do need something to keep them. <laughs> uh, Molemen, golems, there are several things we can do there, yes. What is the name of that Lord of the Rings thingy that lives underground? <laughs> Balrog? Balrog. Bal Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can't use it for the mine. Okay. Um, that one here I can close. So we at least got a river again, flowing. So that's at least something. Even if it's just mainly underground. Yeah, we could have just an orc raid underground as well. <laughs> In general. Goblins would probably fit very well, yes. Indeed. Okay, I gotta dump the stuff I have with me again. Although some add-ons thought about adding something like Balrog when your mine reaches the lowest level, Balrog is going to attack your colony. I'm sure that everyone absolutely loves this idea. It's great. Yep. <laughs> it's an awesome Lord of the Rings reference. Margot doesn't like it. <laughs> I mean, it's so awesome if you go in spectator mode and skip through the colony right now. Um, on on that what I was building on. 
I mean, the mine shaft so. and everything, and all the lighted up uh, uh, mine shafts from the other, basically the, the natural generated ones. I mean, that's awesome. It looks so awesome. <laughs> other people are not happy with Balrogs either, but we would make the Balrogs at most put half your buildings on fire. That would be like the upper, the upper limit. Yeah, so I think it would probably uh, put the mine on fire, the mine shaft, which needs to be be repaired after. And, and of course, we the scans to the normal building level while guards are. Notified and waiting on top of so. <laughs> Although um, we did like the idea yesterday of adding the bell to the guard towers, so that when um, a guard tower encounters um, raiders, a, ra a tower guard, they're going to go back to their tower and going to call all guards of the colony to come them, come help them fight. Yeah, I put that on my list. Like so that's on some add-ons list, so that's done at least this year, if not next year. <laughs> you could reuse the code for the rally flag. Yeah, the, the, we can... Yeah. You really use that code quite surely. Um, There we go. At least some parts of it. Okay, let's check. How is uh, Barnaby doing with the university? That's like forever project level four university. Twenty five percent. We are progressing. How are you doing? A full inventory. That's exactly what I'm often talking about. That is one of the things that caused him a lot of performance is that he doesn't know exactly which resources to pick up so that's one of the next things I got in my list for the next two weeks more or less it's in conjunction with the stuff I modified on the build all right um, not yet Margot although we do have a channel for that planned so you can definitely keep those screenshots so that when we create that channel we can we're most likely going to make like a show channel and then you have to like ask in another channel uh, contribute your images somewhere and then if we review them and like them we're going to show them off to everyone so it doesn't escalate to a meme channel or something like that Uh, how the miner reacts to a nat naturally generated mineshaft, Aris? Is that what you mean? La la. Let me go outside. Um, the miner doesn't react at all to a naturally generated mineshaft. He just uh, goes on. They just go on business as usual. They're just going to create their own shaft within the vanilla shaft kinda and close it off and create a new one within the vanilla one oh, he got stuck uh, that should not happen although he might request an axe and that kinda gets them stuck because they need oh leaving the fence in the floor yeah that ca that can cause issues that's true the ores in the side of the walls is going to be fixed in the next version. The ores in the floor and in the walls. That one I fixed um, yesterday already. And hi John, how are you? Nice to have you here. It's only half an hour in, so you didn't lose out a lot besides some addons destroying nature. <laughs> All lies. I found, by the way, a workaround for the uh, wood guy getting stuck in leaves. Oh, we I already saw. had a guy making a pull request about that this no, no, week. No, it's not. It's just uh, <laughs> I made half slabs on the floor 
Ah, that one, yes, that is well known, and yes. encapsulated the tree in slabs. Yes, yes, that is a famous workaround. <laughs> Everyone does that. Everyone who knows that, at least. It's like so a, such a generic statement. Everyone who knows that does that. That's like obvious, <laughs> obviously. But yes, a lot of a lot of people in the stone and stone block and sky block packs we had discovered that a few years back already. No, the plantation does not support cocoa beans yet. I'm coming on and scavenging for some iron. I That'd need rails. Good. Um, I, I checked out my Google Ads statistics today. There's like a Google Ads settings page where you can like, kind of see what Google thinks to know about you. <laughs> and Google thinks I like blues. Which I don't understand why. I do like jazz. I'm not a big fan of blues, though. It's kind of... Luckily, they don't know a lot of things about me. They also do think that I'm single. Which is probably because they're like... Computer scientist? Single. That is a... Oh, he has interests in video games, computers, and programming. Must be single. <laughs> Typical. And there is a restriction scepter in the Lumberjack GUI, yes. Like GF's pointing out. It's I found out that if I place a specific tree, some weird bird is starting to, to scream in that area. I'm really wondering where some addons is getting all those damn letters from. What what the hell are you doing with all those letters? Can you, can you tell me that? Are you literally crafting letters just to put them all around the colony so that I pick them up randomly? And how many of those decay actually? Can you tell me that? Uh, I think none decayed. <laughs> I just uh, where to cut, to Irish Jeff? <laughs> drop some letters in case you need them when when you drop down again. That's that's actually a a, a funny fact, uh, House of Dogus. Um, as far as I know, all the main developers of Mine Colonies, all of them, all the maintainers at least, all the big main, all the, let's say, older maintainers, um, all are computer scientists and none of them are single as far as, as far as I know. And in my computer science laboratory, there's none single either, so I don't know where Google got that one from. <laughs> oh no. Hey, <clears throat> we are out of acacia wood. We are out of acacia wood, really? Yes, really. <laughs> no, I'm not well, I'm yes. not using um actually a Google browser. So basically the only thing they have on me is more or less my uh, not a lot to go from. That's probably also why do we have them here? Acacia? They're on. Okay, we got only 10 logs. I'm going to turn off the other look wood types. Yeah. <laughs> there is some sunny blossom sapling as well, which makes spruce logs. I'm going to turn those off, yes, done. Yeah, there are only 10. I can click here 
And I see only 10 acacia logs in here. They, yeah, they were spending a lot of time on those here, on those acacia blossoms getting spruce. <laughs> Mario, that might be a good idea. After count. Oh. Google also well. thinks that I like uh, nightlife and gluts, even though it's been like I think six years since I went the last time to a club or something like that. Maybe they're seeing, oh, he's leaving at 8 o'clock. Maybe that is because he's going to a bar. No, he's running to the supermarket because he forgot something. <laughs> well, funny things where these people gather which are bugging us in school, right? <laughs> um, what do computer scientists do? They like to program and spend time googling knowledge that they're never going to use. Yeah, and send emails occasionally. And they're probably the only people that answer quicker to an email than to a Facebook message. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that happens way too often. Like, oh, I'm going to prepare wraps, and I don't have wraps at home, or even worse, missing onion and garlic. That is pretty much the worst thing that can happen. Then you can't. Then there's really the options fall apart. Yeah, no garlic and the cuisine is closed. Um, okay. Uh, pr programming is a relatively useful skill and is probably some one of these things in the relatively new future. It's going to be one of the basic things you're going to learn in any course. Like even already in most technic related courses nowadays, they have to learn um, how to program. Although in most courses, it is the, this one subject where people, which people really hate. <laughs> I've been told. There's, there's one subject I really hate. German. <laughs> the subject, Turk German. Yeah. I didn't really like my programming courses either. It was a white code on paper. Like really, no compiler, no IDE, no nothing. In, in, in the course, um, on paper, I or in the exam, on my school, or like any school. <laughs> Drag the item with the left click. I can do that. I think John is kind of dying inside as well. And I think Margot is dying inside when she sees me crafting things. I think John said it already. How do I do this? I drag it with the left. No, I drag it with the left. Hold left click. Ah, this is useful. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> I have issues with the double click to remove a full deck of everything, you know. That is an how, issue how I have. How could you not know that? <laughs> I mean, how are make how, how did you make furnaces before? Just putting them in with the right click. Ah, yeah. That's also useful. 
but now yeah, you can yeah, make the a circle. Yeah, the right, no, the right click circle I used to do already, but I didn't know that there was a left click circle. Please tell me that it was just introduced in 115 or so. No, that's very old. Very old? Is it like used with the same control like you have with the right click? No, this, this is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> One seven one. Uh, to be to be fair, I stopped playing a lot after one point two point five. In one point two point five, I used to play a lot with all kinds of different mods. I think, and then I played a little bit in one, uh, and then I mostly stopped playing. And mostly started developing. And here and there, a little bit of Sky Wars or Bed Wars, but there's not. <laughs> but there's not a lot of crafting involved in Bed Wars. Yes, you can. Um, you can teach that to your cook. But to actually have the cook execute the recipes, you have to set up minimal stocks in the um, uh, restaurant. That is good to know. So you can set up Pam's recipes to make sandwiches and all these kinds of things. And the only thing then is setting up sandwiches as a minimum stock. So you can decide how many sandwiches you want the cook to craft and then the cook is going to request the ingredients for this and do their job. By the way, um, what is the rule for the cook actually for dropping to you some food? That is, because I think... He did it once. I think lower than half or lower than a third of the restaurant. Um, only food that includes wheat, like I uh, know food. Only recipes that includes wheat um, have to be in the um, baker. All the recipes that include anything but wheat, but is still food, is for the restaurant. Oh, Barnaby needs stuff. What do you need? Dark oak slabs again. So I guess those are kind of gone from the warehouse already now. <laughs> Who else looked in their phone when I got my WhatsApp message? <laughs> That's a classic one. Dark oak. Okay, that's not a lot of dark... Oh, we got some slabs in here though. Dark oak slabs. Seems to be counted wrongly. Um, dark oak saplings. Do we have maybe like no, no four here? Yes. So I'm going to request uh, some add-ons. Those damn letters. Um, those dark oak slabs are for the um, university level four. Come, delivery man. You are the one. Yes. No. You. Come, Nathaniel. I know that you can do it. You got your wheat, by the way. Barracks uh, yet? What? I think we can use another barracks. <laughs> I was a fool now. Yeah, but we need more citizens anyway, so we can't. Yeah. Still waiting on our cowboy for that. There we go. And then I'm going to get a few. Um, bones, and I'm going to create a little bit of dark oak.
<laughs> no, I think the recipe is fine for the banner. I think the recipe is fine. Did you add um, a research requirement for the banner already? Chia, uh, Chia. Or Chaya. Okay. Um, here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Huh. Those diamond axes we get from barbarian drops. There we go. Nice. Okay, that sounds good. Wizzy been complaining a lot lately. He's getting soft. <laughs> yeah. Not just not just this section. He's saying we're making things too difficult for people. Blame Wizzy. <laughs> Let's just blame Wizzy. If you think mine colonies is too easy, blame Wizzy. If you think it's too difficult, blame him too. Then he's not convincing enough. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, so after uh, the... May maybe we could... Um, um, does the tool allow you to recall people outside of the colony at the moment, Chia? Construction tapes cheaper? We did not adjust uh, construction tape recipes. Ever. Why do you have um, construction tape decoration in the in the fortress style, everyone? No, I don't have. I don't like the tree capitate mods. To be fair, I think they're a bit overpowered. I like to cut down trees the old-fashioned way log by log ah okay no they're still relatively expensive maybe you can ask uh, Mison nicely to make a recipe that's a bit cheaper to handle yeah that sounds like a good idea <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> oh, that's quite expensive, yes. Yeah, in the, in the jungle I can... I confess it's a little bit more complicated. Okay, there we go. So how much exactly of those slabs do you need? 269. That's quite a bit. That still doesn't cover all of it, I guess. One, two, three. How much is still left? It's still 70 left here to go. Okay. So that should do it, probably. I did see he also needs some dark oak fences, 62. Okay, that's not so bad. Do I have some sticks with me? No. Uh, but I got some oak planks I can make into sticks. And there we go. 
As, so what I was wondering about is maybe adding a range, a max range within the colonies on the scepter for now, on the rallying banner, and have a research that allows that to be increased. That doesn't have to be added now, but for now at least, only allowing it to work within the colony. And later add a research that allows a farther range for that. So that this is because it's a very useful item, and I wouldn't want to uh, would want to have man, some more advan disadvantages to it. Did you by the way add the thing we talked about that they demand some time off after using it? Dark oak shingles too. Well let me double check on I, I do have the list with me. Dark oak shingles. Where? Clay, gray clay, dark oak shingles, 74, oh wow, going to f have to find, yes, there we go, I will have to find some bricks for that though, do we have bricks in the warehouse or clay at least for that? Hey. Our, our um, healer is stuck again, walking back and forth, but uh -huh. not doing anything. Clay, I'm going to request some here. So you probably have to give him one of the ingredients to heal someone. Maybe. Okay, I'm going but to check. not request any. Hey, I know, that is the bug, basically. He is supposed to request it, but he's not requesting it. Oh. That sounds good. Um, gee, uh, yes. You can make, like, after you dismiss them, they're going to reduce their food by a lot. I wouldn't have them use the f uh, food while they're rallied. But the moment you dismiss them, they should maybe drop their food bars by half or so, at least. And there is no minimum stock setting yet for the healer. Okay, let me see what the healer wants. I also do hope it's not honeycombs. What is it? about glass if it... Okay, he, he has potatoes, but he doesn't have carrots. So I guess give that... Him 64 of everything and then he will never ask again. So I'm going to give him 64 carrots. Exactly, that's what I'm going to... It's always those carrots that he's missing. He always has some potatoes, but he's always missing carrots, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, did he... Uh, did uh, Luna not find out that he eats them? No, I double-checked that. He can't eat... Okay. He really can't eat carrots. <laughs> I double checked that today a lot. It doesn't happen. I did gave him carrots a little bit ago, which kind of makes it weird, yes. I'm wondering if he dropped them and the delivery man picked them up or so. Oh, yeah. I got my clay there. I to totally forgot about the clay. I got totally sidetracked again. Okay. There we go. Uh, here we got our clay, so I can put them in our smelter down there. Uh, the delivery man might be picking up some additional extra, maybe in the uh, worker huts. Like the cook gives the food to the workers, and the delivery man picks it up at the workers, or the, even the delivery man gets it at the cook. Um, smeltable. There we go. And those will turn on. Yeah, it actually it, it 
enriches the gameplay by a lot. You never have the dull moment where you have nothing to do. Are you serious, Sam Adams? Are you really serious? Why? I did nothing. Putting letters all over the place. Here. Burn. Did you see this? <laughs> Did you see this? <laughs> Stop finding that ass, you need some. Those were the letters. Darn letters. <laughs> I think I've got like 1200 left or so. What are, where did you get those letters from? <laughs> You you crafted by accident all the letters, I guess. Uh, he collects all the letters from outside when the uh, raid is over. Nah, it's not so many. That shouldn't be all that many. Maybe he made shift click on craft. I think he kind of did a shift click craft with a shit ton of items in his inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hope so, Super Minix. I did read that there was these days like a major fire in California after a name reveal party of a family that blew up some kind of box or something like that and then burned down 20 football fields or something like that. <laughs> okay, you're still on it I guess. So, do you? you do have Poppy, and you have Dandelions. Just make sure he heals our cow cowboy. Ah, of we need more beef. Oh, let me see those. Okay, one of them started healing now again. So I guess a few trips and they're going to be healed. <laughs> Um, a clipboard at the wall item, that would probably be not so easy to handle. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that looked just too good to be true. <laughs> <laughs> you have to eat this, see this when the <laughs> a guard was, was walking while lying on the floor, but that was not the best part of it. He entered a minecart lying on the floor and went <laughs> down the rails. That just looked like gold. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a new citizen sport. That's Minecraft, a new minecart sliding. It's the new it's a new sport. Okay, let me see bricks we need. Do we have a bunch of bricks? Yeah, those sleepwalking guards, I don't know how they happen yet. Um, bricks, I wanted to check. How much bricks do we have in this? Some I slabs. I sleepwalking citizens. And some bricks. I'm going to request a bunch of those. Also citizens sleeping inside the door. Yeah, the Acacia University is very expensive, I think. I repeat, ahem, the Acacia University is a very expensive building. <laughs> okay, it seems our guard are needing a lot of armor again because our request system is resetting again. There we go. Hi Ingertan, how are you? Hint, hint. The Space Wars University makes it look cheap in comparison. 
You know that exactly that's the one I wanted to use in the next video series? <laughs> now, what does it have, this Base Wars University, in terms of materials? Is it so expensive? Don't tell me that. That was the next um, Let's Play video I wanted to use. I guess I have to use the sandstone one then. <laughs> Okay, we're getting uh, our clay here. Concrete and a beacon and other stuff. But is that at, but that's at level 5, isn't it? That's not at an early level. Yeah, that's okay. But early levels, does it have a lot of concrete as well? So I need the concrete worker implemented. Diorite. So I shouldn't use quark, I guess. There we go. So I need a bunch of things. First of all, I need sticks. Then, oh, the other way around. And it was not so much, it was one stack. Oh, I made two. Too bad. Um, and I need brick plugs to make brick stairs. There we go. Yeah, the medieval one is actually pretty awesome as well, because it's like uh, you can put it together with the universe, with the school and the library to make it like a combined building, as Karzner has intended it, which makes that a pretty awesome one to build. Um, more bricks. I need a bunch more of those, I guess, and gray. Clay, dark oak shingles. So I have to make those ones here gray. How many of them? I guess we could need a search bar in this one here too. 74. No, no. Rest, the restaurant doesn't is can't do bread. It can't do recipes that include wheat. Um, yes, the builder might ask for grass, but he'll he will be fine if you don't if you give him something else. He's not going to be that on on grass. You can give him dirt, and he's going to be fine. But did you turn on the cookies on the level two GUI? Yes, he should already be able to do that. Um. I need black dye. Do I have something here? My wool's no. So I need black and white I got already here. So I need just black ink sacks. So it's eight, eight times eight, nine. That makes five ink sacks I need. We should, yes, we do have those. That's amazing. <laughs> So, Margo, everyone learned something new. I learned how to do use crafting grids accordingly, and Margo learns how to use the baker accordingly. Okay, double check again. Um, yes. It's gray, right? So that I don't make the wrong ones. Where are the... here. Red clay why red I read it was gray wasn't it gray yeah it's both gray and red come on John <laughs> yeah, I did those are red ones okay gray one 74 so what is left click okay that worked Sixty-four, and we got barbarians incoming. So I'll get some sleep quickly before I'm going to call 
some guards to my help. Then... Northeast. That's on the back of the colony, isn't it? North... East, yes. Yeah, behind the... Acacia wall again. Behind the... Acacia wall. You only need a hammer and some stones. And ready to you still need them. some doors there. Yeah, we are still missing those doors there. Hoop, and there we run. I think I can already activate it. Oops. Yes. And while I run there, they are already on the way then. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can already see the huge quantity of red dots there. Oh, they're trying to break through here. Where are my guards? Ah. Let's see when they find the staircase. Ah. <laughs> and for now, I'm running. Some add and switch to hard mode. It's already hard mode. Sure he did. We did a while ago. Yeah, I remember that. But the good thing off. is all the barbarians are focused on me. <laughs> Not sure if it's a good thing though. <laughs> <laughs> I, what are you doing there? Wow, there's like a huge horde of barbarians that are like running after me, literally. Um, just five left? I, I tried to build a training station for the uh, guards. Basically put a guard tower right in, right next to my mob spawner. So, I guess, I guess that worked out pretty fine. We didn't lose any night, nor did we and lose... No Either. Any player, nor did we lose uh, any rain archer. So I guess that See, worked out pretty that. nice. <laughs> With armor, they are a lot stronger. No, it's because I tanked all the <laughs> damage. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> there was literally no danger whatsoever for the uh, guards. <laughs> I was just running away while they're attacking. Uh, I will get out for uh, me to do something else. A server is crying right now. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, um, see you later tomorrow or whatever. And uh, bye to the chat. Ciao, ciao. Lexarion. Yeah, that was a pretty decent tank, I have to say. I also had, like if I didn't have Unbreak Protection 3 on those three things here, I've been, I would have been so dead, but so dead. <laughs> that would have been impossible to defend. Good that I got myself some good enchanted armor. Else yeah. that would have been quite difficult task. Um, I wanted, s I need a few more of those to make the red ones too. Just want to double check if I actually gave enough to the um, gray. I need two more. Yeah, that's like such a stupid number. I craft eight a time. Here. And I need red ones too. When does we give? So that is enough, and now I need only a red die. I do guess I still have them in our stash. 
<laughs> that didn't go perfect, I guess. Um, yes, the um, barbarian texture missing is fixed in the next update. That's going to be released um, this weekend for sure. Um, as far as I know, some add-ons, um, some add-ons. Orion got the build system running today on one server, uh, but he yeah. didn't get the thing running in the cluster yet, so he's still working on that. But that, I think the main ninety percent of it should be done now. Only needed a month as well. Okay. Um, here. Oh, only six poppies. That's kind of sad quantity. Um, I need all the 64, I guess, at once. Yeah. So I need two more poppies. Enchanted weapons to the raids? Nah, nah, doesn't exist. Those are mere rumors. Don't give him stupid ideas. Oh, I should write this outside on my list. <laughs> Looks, must look nice with enchanted weapons. Like some more shiny chiefs and pirates. Although they already deal a whole load of damage. Not really. You killed they by like by four hits already. On hard mode. No, by four hi four hits and you're down basically of the especially of the chiefs. Yeah, chiefs do a bit more. They got got additional two damage. Yeah, it's like four hits and you're absolutely down even with full diamond. Hi, Hi Arbory. Yeah, we could lower their starting damage and make and scale it a bit better. That is true. That would be something that's possible. Yes. I agree on that. Do you think they should walk faster? No, that I don't think. They're pretty quick already. Okay. Since you went away earlier. I'm going to click upgrade on our here and a cowboy to level 5. What does it need? Okay, those are reasonably cheap. Barnaby. I think they would be a lot easier if you had some flying items. Flying items? Yeah, like many tech modes or magic modes. Yeah, some items to like if you, can f if you can fly, it's basically it's way too easy because then you can just use your bow, hover over them in a bit dis of distance and just snipe yeah, and them away, right? And you attract and them to run after you, you just can lure them away of the colony. Yeah. I've been thinking about giving rangers some additional anti-air damage. <laughs> Um, the difficulty of the raid is determined by the colony size. I don't remember the exact calculation anymore, to be fair, but it's around the level, the amount of citizens you have and the amount of barracks you have in your colony. Hi, Andros. Nice to have you in the stream, then. Okay, we already got three research in progress. I'm not sure anymore. Is the level of the worker factored in? For what? For a raid? Yeah. So the levels of the workers are also factored in. Yeah, it's uh, worker levels and building levels. So it's worker levels and building levels. Although at the moment the barbarians scale very nicely. 
So if you lose a lot of people in a raid, the next raid should be much easier. However, the um, pirate raids do not scale very well yet, as you probably are aware of. So that's one of the things we're working on to scale them a little I've been bit thinking, better. Uh, to exclude child citizens from that great level. That is probably a good idea, yes. Since they can't really help with raids, but make them bigger. Yes, true. One child. Yes, the new um, the new raids, the new pirate raids have some really decent loot, so that should make uh, balance it a little bit out for now at least. They got some really decent loot now on the on that boat, if you're quick enough to take them down, right? Before the ship so despawns. Same difficulty and better loot. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay, I, I think it sounds good. Are you? I'm unsure because I. Some players complain that it needs a long time to get citizens. Um, so I think the spawn rate of the citizens is fine. We could add a little bit lower spawn rate to pirates, that's true. Or maybe add some random calculation so that, like, only. With a higher, with like, you can get, like at the moment you get always the highest raid level you can get. But we could add like a chance that you can get any of the three raid levels. So you can get a small, medium or a big ship when you have yeah. a big colony. I think that would be a decent way to balance it a little bit. And on hard mode, there's a 1% chance for doomsday raids where you get any raiders together. He just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> just to scare me. What? Hey, I mean, yes, you can um, lower the, uh, the pirate raids in config. But the idea is, of course, always to have like the game very well playable at the default config, right? In the next update, we're already going to have a fix for the detection of spawner breaking. Because there were some issues sometimes that the breaking of a spawner was not detected or a spawner didn't um, spawn in due to some issue. And that would cause a whole bunch of issue because then would you have like three days of pirate rape? That is like terrible. And um, the Vikings are taiga biomes. Yes, the Vikings are taiga biomes. And if you have a taiga biome colony next to a body of water. Then you can get a Viking boat raid as well. Those are like the additional things you can get. Okay, I guess the healer got them all again. So that sounds good. Uh, because um, I could also look into the icy biomes. But it was mostly Northern Europe, the Vikings um, attacked and not, I don't know, Mediterranean area, I think, were unaffected by the Vikings. It was mostly like England, Germany and Northern France, I believe. We had some plans in the past, like it's still a plan, but it's like on the back burner. Yeah, but the main part, like Vikings went until the Americas actually, but they didn't really raid a lot in those directions, right? Um, maybe we could give like some small chances for Viking raids anywhere. <laughs> 
like a one percent chance for, for it to be a Viking raid instead of a pirate raid. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to see other raids even if you are not in a specific biome. There we go. Um, another plan, uh, what, what I was talking about, um, and a plan we had, something we're going to implement in the future, is like a prison building, and then if you have a raid, there's a chance that you can capture a raider, would be like if you have a prison building, then there's a chance to capture a raider, and while you have the raider captured and you have like a prison guard, the raider is going to tell you locations of loot where you can find like some special loot. However, while you have the raider captured, there is a enormous chance to get more raids of that raid type over the next days. So you can get some great loot, but you're going to get a lot of raids in exchange. That was one of the ideas we had, but did not realize yet due to time constraints. But it's one of the yeah, things we are playing fun. around, thinking to implement one day. Let me see what the builder is up to. Now oh, they they would actually be probably more subtle, and would just give you the position, so you don't have to follow the treasure. Although probably making it a treasure map and just using the vanilla treasure maps would maybe be easier. Yeah, maybe. But the last stuff is uh, always interesting. Although those those treasures actually are quite good as well, but might be not so like worth it as much because getting raids can be fairly difficult too. So I need more bricks, I guess. And if you rename a house, the house has a different name. <laughs> that's that's all there is to it. There's no... I found why our cowboy is so slow. Why? He's requesting two wheat at once. Only two? two. Ah, so okay, then we have to um, yeah, adjust it. And uh, uh, he probably has like min count one, max count two, so we will have to add to adjust that to max count sixty four, min count two. Yeah. No, it doesn't change anything. It's mainly in the in the future, so that you can in, see an overview GUIs of your colony, um, which lumberjack is, is which one. Yeah, adding extra structures is also a plan for other raids. Like barbarian camps, um, like you said, uh, a pyramid for mummies, bricks, bricks. It's mainly for the future to be able to separate which builder is which from the town hall GUI when we have further handling. How much? bricks do we have left here? 130, so I can request more. No, that's the wrong brick. I want the other one here. No? At least 32? Yes, that at least. <laughs> yeah, the tavern is not such a big advantage, yes. Okay. And we need stairs, I guess. I need to get more clay, I believe. Clay. Can you bring me some of... Not 54, 64. No? So we gotta hunt for clay somewhere. What a pain. Um, there's the builder. 
He wanted those stairs. How many? 32. So what I have is like not even close than enough. I think there was some clay in the in the ravine over there. So I will check over there. We got 61 clay in our warehouse. 61? Uh, it's not enough. Yeah. We need a bunch of it. We need a few stacks at least. Okay. What are you trying to build? Uh, for the immersion, definitely. Uh, the university needs a bunch of bricks. Oh. We have 56 bricks as well. How much? 56. 65. Clay there. Okay. 56. That's a diorite. Stone. More diorite. More stone. Diorite. Clay. <laughs> the tavern next to the university in the docks. Um, let me get. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> One day I want to add some actual dock building where you can have it build uh, ships, and those ships can then be used for trading with other colonies. Yeah, we got some relatively big trading plans in the future. And there we go. Ouch. Here's some iron at least. Lex never came on to bring iron, by the way. Yeah, he told us he was going to get us iron. It was all big talks yeah, about bringing us iron. Never, never delivered on it. To pick. Typical. Making us big hopes and all. Double trouble. Very nice. This is this means um, our um, planter now gets us twice the resources. Is I going to be able to get two types of things now? Hi, Barry. How are you? Yes, I'm searching for clay. I can't find clay in this hole here. Clay is usually next to water or below some water. No, there is also like with quark clay, you yeah, can you find can clay find in, clay find in ravines, 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 ravines as well. Ravines. There we got some more. Nice. We got a full inventory. Just put away this stuff here again. Yeah, one of the big advent I think one of the biggest advantages of of Quark is the amount of clay it adds just in general locations. So you don't have to play scavenger hunt all over the colony. All over the world. Trying to find clay. It's just no, this is diorite. Also diorite. Jump. Break. Break. Jump. Jump. Break. There we go. So we got a bunch of clay now. We can put in our smelter. That should be fairly useful to finish this university here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, in the swamp at least you got a bunch of clay. So that is probably one of the blocks you will use in a, in a swamp style a lot. Um, 
There we go. Smeltable. And I'm going to bring the iron. Was that all? I'm going to bring to the smelter quickly. I'm going to just dump in the warehouse. The liver man is going to do the rest now. And then I can show you guys how you the setup works for the plantation. Because that is... Maybe not obvious. <laughs> um, it's because I was a little bit lazy. And I didn't want to redo all the GUI coding. So basically when you have the normal university that can only do one thing. On the last page this means what the worker is going to take care of. But now if you have it on two. This means that's the one he's not going to use. So we will all want all but... Um, what was it? Did I upset it on... No, I want all but bamboo. Yes, all but bamboo. So now the worker is going to take care of sugarcane. You just saw it, she planted it there. And will not take care of bamboo, fortunately. I serve with pleasure. She's checking on the stuff here, and as you can see now, she's taking care of all of the two cactus and of the sugar cane. So that will give us those two... Yeah, she just had a small derp because she was still in the bamboo loop. <laughs> so she got confused. If you switch them mid one task, they might have the idea to put something on the wrong position for a moment. Eventually they're going to take care of that then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is definitely not intentional. No, it's the... Like I just said, it's because when you switch them task, while they're trying to plant one, they might get sidetracked a little bit. Because they can separate the two tasks that easily. That's only 16 stairs. Clay is one of these things that's like, you think, oh, I'm going to take a few stacks of clay and then it's nothing. Basically. Okay, then. Barnaby, here you got more stairs. You need double crossed acrasia frames again, I guess. I got another... how many? Upgrading. 14. Well, that hasn't happened in a while. Uh. Uh, do I have Acacia with me? No, I don't. I'm going to check at the Lumberjack. Yeah, clay is one of the materials, like, it's super nice, but it burns out so quickly, it's incredible. Do we have any... Occasion one of these, no? Maybe here? Ah, oh, we got 10, that's fine. No. Our delivery man just stole all wheat from our cowboy. Really? He left him one. He left one. That's bad. So we yeah. guess we have to adjust the herders to, t to leave much more of the material in. I already noticed that the crafters, actually the back of the crafters was a little we meant leaves only for one crafting process enough and not for the entire, like for only for one recipe execution. Ah, uh, yeah, that's by too much. Few. Yeah, that's not enough. So I believe that probably the enchanter has the same problem. Yes, you can have the crusher create clay for you. That's possible, yes. But we don't have a crusher yet. You're missing so many buildings. Yet. We're missing a bunch of buildings yeah, yet. Yes. 75 people. <laughs> and we already got like 75 people in a big colony. Ah no. 
It's the wrong brick again. I derped. Okay. 14 it was. Of those double crossed ones. And guards should regularly dump their stuff as well. But just not so often that they don't run back all the time while they're fighting. Ouch. It hit my finger again. Yeah, that was a cheap one. Okay, at least in normal. We need still some stairs. At least we're getting finally somewhere. I think that might actually be enough. Isn't it? Do we need more? We got all the brick. That's some good news, I would say. Only a ton of other things are left now. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, oh, they just die. Our rangers are dying. No, who was it? Eli and Lily. Poor Walgreens and Chatters, they might not feel very well losing their kids so soon. Um, only the workers only going to use that specific recipe you told them, not all the possible recipes for that. So you would have to teach every wood type. And make sure you order them in the order you want them. So that the worker is not going to request. And to be fair, it only makes sense to teach him one at the moment. Because the worker is just going to request the first plank. We do not have the way to... Oh, the tavern is finished. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, that is a very early on recipe. <laughs> Combat Academy 4, finally. It's getting forward in our economy. Yeah. So, and the... Oh, now the Acacia Tavern looks actually... Didn't see it yet. Um... And the Combat Academy is only... Um, sandstone. The archery is going to be the acacia one. No, there's not a fix yet for that. I suggest not dismounting in colonies that belong to people that don't like you. <laughs> that because that's fairly difficult. Because I don't know how the if there is some code. That um, yeah, says a horse is yours. Your, your horse or you are trying to steal a horse. <laughs> it's because it's difficult to say whose horse this is. We would have to track somehow that your horse it was really your horse and that you can actually mount it and is not trying to steal someone else's horse. Yeah, but we would have to track that in the world, right? We would have to track the player's UUID when he dismounts the horse and then track a map all over the world about who has which horses forever. <laughs> which would be complicated as well. I don't know if there if the person is tame who tamed the horse is um associated to it. I thought that every tamed horse can be used by anyone, basically. Yeah we would but we still have to track that still. Okay, um, it's getting night again and it's getting late here at home again. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed our stream, consider following and subscribing. If you want to support our mod project, we appreciate Patreon support a lot as well. Um, Patreons get access to an exclusive Patreon server in the future. Two exclusive Patreon servers. And 
quite often exclusive news and better support or let's say not better but more direct support for the mod um, until then I'm going to see you guys on Sunday because tomorrow is my days off so see you everyone on Sunday bye bye and good night